hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well today in this video we will learn about a new process called standard general journal in the dynamics 365 business central okay i'm sure most of you are quite aware with the general general functionality in the system okay so if you go to the search bar and type general journal uh, you will be presented with these options select this link and it will open up the general general page for you so uh, first of all we must have to understand that what exactly the use of this general journal okay so in layman terms i would say that general journal is a functionality through which we post our documents and the data into the ledgers okay so whatever the amount you see in your chart of accounts that amount is flow into that ledgers through this window called general journal okay so right now as i have already opened up one cash general journal where uh, this means that in this uh, batch cash i used to input uh, my entries related to the cash okay so whatever cash transactions are happening in my company I input all those uh, data and the entry through this batch in the general journal okay so uh, let's say I'll prepare one entry of uh, document type invoice and uh, let me select in the account type as customer so in the debit amount field I'll input ten thousand dollars and in the balancing account uh, system has already taken the general general account as 2910 which is a cash account okay so in this manner I have uh, successfully created one entry to create the sales invoice for my customer let me input the customer number here which is 10,000 the Canon group PLC okay so this is my entry in the general journal now one way is that after you successfully input all the data which you want in your general you can post the same from this window and when you click on the post button system not only transfer this information and create your customer ledger and the general ledger in the system but because you have already posted this entry system will delete the line from the general journal page okay so that you cannot use the same entry again but there are certain chances where you want same sort of information uh, again tomorrow okay or maybe day after tomorrow uh, depending on your how recurring this activity you do in the system okay so there is an another functionality available in the system which is recurring general journal but uh, that is somewhere related to which you uh, have to do which your transactions or your entries are very much in a recurring mode so that for that scenarios you can use the recurring general journal but here the entries which are not so common and generally comes or arrives on daily basis or something like that so for that what we have to do that rather than inputting the same information again and again we can save this entry okay so to save this entry what we have to do is that we have to click on the actions button and go to the functions and select this option that save as standard journal okay now when you click on that function it will ask you these three values where in the code because you are saving it as a new standard journal journal so you can input a new name here as let's say it's my customer invoice it's uh, I'm creating a, a standard general journal for my customer entries so I input the code as customer and in the description I'll enter 
all the customer invoices journal okay and in this switch of same amount let me make this switch on so that when i save this entry it will not only save the all the data which i have already created in the entry but also the amount okay so let me click on okay and it is now uh, giving me this message that standard journal journal customer has been successfully created okay so that's really great now let me post this entry and see the journal lines are successfully posted and after posting is done my lines are deleted okay now you want that you want to create the same entry again in the journal so one way or the traditional way is that you should start inputting that information manually again in this page but rather than that we can use our standard journal which we saved in the earlier step okay so now what we have to do is that we have to click on the process button and click on get standard journals now when you click on that function it will open up the list page of standard general journals in this page you can see that in the earlier step where you you have created a new standard journal of customer code it is available here or in case you can view it also so you can see that my line which I earlier posted is available here same information including my amount okay so that's information I want again in my journal so I'll select that and yes one more thing I would like to share here is that in the standard general journal you cannot post this entry okay if you click here then also there is no posting function available so that means if you want to do post or if you want to use posting functionality then you must transfer this entry to your general journal page okay so that itself understand what exactly the difference between a normal general journal and the standard general journal okay standard general journal is just for saving your routine entries in a separate table okay so now select this line and click ok and now messages appear now general journal lines have been successfully inserted from your standard general journal customer okay click ok and you can see the lines are created automatically right now because I have taken an example with a single entry so that is why you are seeing here only one entry available but in case in a company where user creates thousands of entries on daily basis in that scenario it will help your users a lot where they don't need to create the same entry again and again on daily basis and they can save this entry in the standard general journal page okay including the amount amount is also coming okay and now you can now jump to straight to post function and click on to post button and now message is appearing that do you want to post the general lines click on yes and your general lines are successfully posted so in this manner you not only save time but your efforts also okay so i hope uh, you find this function uh, uh, easy enough it will help you or your users to uh, get uh, save your time in an efficient manner okay so let me see you in the next part of the video i hope you like this video in case you like the video i request you to please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much